uh, since I'm already talking, uh, Eric Price with uh, Lowney Architecture, the project manager and uh, studio director here for our hospitality and commercial projects. Pleasure to be here and uh, give you a little overview uh, of our work. And my colleague, Jung is here as well. Jung? Yeah, Jung Stop from Lowney Architecture. I'm one of the senior designers working on the project. Nice to meet you, everyone. We've also Great, got yeah. with us from the design team here, uh, let's see, Pete, there you are. Uh, Pete Smith with HMH, we're the civil engineers and site development work, and uh, we'll bounce it over to Dina Marcilli. Hi, Dina Marcilli, also with HMH Engineers. I'm a senior planner here, helping with the land planning and entitlement process. Kirk as well. Kirk, I'm just kind of flipping through the heads on the screen here. There we are. Oh, uh, you, you want me? Hi, Eric. Yeah, <laughs> Hi, sure. everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm Kirk Pedersen. I'm uh, the president of Sightline Hospitality. We are a hotel management company uh, that operates uh, hotel properties all over the country. Thank you, Kirk. And Danae, what else have we got here? Hello, my name is Danae Hall with Kimley Horn. We work with the city on preparing the environmental document for the project. Thank you. We've also got uh, Mark and Jennifer as well. Oh, Jesse, Jesse's on the line too. Hey everyone, great to be here uh, with Sightline Hospitality. Uh... Great. Uh, I'm Mark Cersini, the, the owner of the property and the applicant uh, here this evening. I welcome the, the community members that are attending this evening. Just a little background on myself. I happen to be uh, fast approaching my 65th year on October 7th, and I was born and raised on uh, Moore Park Avenue, just uh, just a little east of Winchester Boulevard. So uh, spent quite a bit of time in around this area as a young uh, individual riding my bike uh, through what was town and country is now Santana Row and uh, through the theater property when it was un actually under construction. So um, spent quite a bit of time here. My uh, grandparents uh, lived on Stevens Creek uh, Boulevard at the time and uh, over the last 35 years uh, my brother Ken and myself had been uh, doing development in and around San Jose and uh, we love the community and very much uh, looking forward to moving this uh, hotel forward uh, to make it a reality. Thank you. And hi, everybody. I'm Jennifer Jadoin. Um, I am assisting Mark in this uh, process and have worked with him for multiple, multiple years. So thank you for everybody attending tonight. Thank you. I think we got everybody, so why don't we just get a bit to flip it through some slides here. Uh, this first slide is a aerial image of the of the area with Santana Row and the mostly commercial area here on page page right. The little yellow box in the center represents the project site and to the left the or uh, lower density residential zone. What this is beginning to demonstrate here is that the project's really in a uh, in a bit of a transition zone but uh, well within what's the uh, mixed use and, and uh, commercial zone. And uh, one of the things we're going to do, and we'll see in the images that are forthcoming, uh, our overall design goal really was to uh, limit impacts here, uh, visual and otherwise, on the residential neighborhood and uh, create a building that really fit in with both commercial uses on one side, residential uh, on the other. This is that uh, little yellow box you saw on the previous slide. Our overall site plan with Winchester still at the right side of the page. Spar Avenue, the more residential character street uh, to the left. The site diagrams demonstrating a couple things. One, <coughs> points of access and entry. Service, uh, pedestrian entry is here in blue. Vehicular entry is in red. What we're seeing here is what we really strive to do is try to make sure that we can position